So I just picked up a PSP. It's kind of really cool with the green in the back. I paid $24.99, but I got a 20% discount. Uh, and I got it for $22.59 from the Value Village store right there. So uh, this is a pretty good deal for me. Uh, keep on buying your PSPs, people, or PS Vitas, because they're going up in price. Uh, a used game store I went to had them for fifty nine ninety nine, uh, and then if you have a special edition one, it was a little bit more. So they're going up in price. So just buy them as much as you can. All right, it's seven thirteen. I woke up a little late. We're gonna get started yard sailing. Wish me a good luck today. We'll see what happens. World Series, Shrek Carnival, and that controller. I won't be getting these. Got these for ten dollars. Xbox 360. Uh, you mentioned there's three remotes here. Three, that's right. And you wanted ten bucks for it? Yes, please. Alrighty, that's not a problem. I just wanted to check how to open it. Yeah, I think it's. Oh, maybe it's the other side. Yeah, it's a flat. Okay. So, three remotes, are they all working? Um, honestly, I, uh, I don't know. I tried one of them just the other day to make sure that everything was still functioning, yeah. and, it, and it worked. Alright, $10 well, is not a problem. Alright, sounds cool. So we got an oversized Darth Vader. And a few of these things here. These were $5 for all those toys there. And this big toy was $8. Formula Championship Season 1 Racing for 50 cents. I find uh, iPod 30 gigs for $5. See it sale right here. So not bad for 5 bucks. Yes, yeah, stuff you won't sell, but these are all the games you said, and we yeah. agreed on $13 for the Xbox. Yeah. Um, four in? remotes. Four remotes. Bunch of Lego pieces that are falling in. Okay, and then this bag the comes case. included. That's the ca carry case for the whole thing. Okay. Four controllers, the connector cables. Yeah, if you had the the original um, cases, yeah. cases, I would have offered a lot more. All right, thirteen dollars it is. Thank yep. you so much. Yeah. yeah, if your kids decide <laughs> to sell the DS stuff, uh, I can come back. Yeah. Uh, this is a really cool thing, a Squirtle. Unfortunately, I don't have any room for it. It's massive. This would have been the pickup of the week, but I don't have any space for it. Xbox 360 remote, two games, all for a whopping good $5 from this cool yard sale right here. Picking up a stack of PS1 games. All of these and three PS3 remotes from this beautiful yard sale right here. So I got this oversized Darth Vader. It looks to be about at least two and a half, three feet tall. I got this for eight dollars. It was sort of a weird day or of what I found at yard sales. I found a lot of strange stuff. Uh, one of my more weirder days of yard sailing. So we'll take a recap of what I found. So there were three PS3 remotes that were in a bag. I didn't see how they were, but it feels like uh, they're defected. Um, like you see over there, that's broken right there. Um, so I feel like they're defected, and one of them is making a noise uh, from the side, so I think it's maybe this right here that's uh, not working. Anyways, I paid $10 for those three. I'll hopefully go to the States and get $13 each on them in trade credit from GameStop. I also got an Xbox 360 with three remotes, and those were the games, so I paid $10 for those, and I got an Xbox with a binder of games, so I'll show you those as well. I picked up a Wii with a Wii Motion rep uh, remote. And these were the figures I found, so 
I got two of these Batmans. And these Batmans are pretty cool. Um, so they're $2 each. And I got a Stormtrooper for $2. So that was pretty cool. So we'll get into the binder of games that I got. If anyone knows of any of them, or if I got a rare one or two, uh, let me know. And also, with this Xbox I paid $13 for, I got all these remotes inside here. So, the remotes are kind of all inside. There were four remotes. So it wasn't too bad. So we'll take a look at the games I got. So I generally never buy Xbox stuff, but the price was so good I said, alright, I'll take it. So these are the games I got. So if anyone knows if they're any good or if they're rare, let me know in the comments. Dead or Alive, Project Gotham, Freedom Fighter, 007, Brute Force, Matrix, Splinter Cell, Blood Wake. I've never heard of that. Might be rare. Who knows? But the price was right, so I paid for them. Burnout 3, Burnout, Soul Calibur, Gun. So these are all pretty fun games I actually got. I didn't really look at the stuff I got. Uh, Destroy All Humans, really fun game. Dead Red, Rally Sport, Harry Potter, Indiana Jones. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, another Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Odd World, Top Spin, and the last game was Need for Speed. So this was the Xbox, and then I found a binder of PS1 games, so I'll show you those next. I also forgot to show that I got this game right here. And I got the Sonic Free Riders. Uh, so I paid $5 for both of these and this Xbox, Xbox uh, remote. So I do know that I go to VGP and they gave me $15 trade for this. So I'll probably trade that away. That way I can uh, work it towards a game I need for my collection. As for the games, uh, the first game is Cool Borders. This is my PS1 lot that I picked up. So this was $15. Um, never heard of this. Overblood. If anyone knows if these are rare, let me know. The CDs are in pretty good condition. Um, then there's a siphon filter game. WWF Warzone. Nightmare Creatures. Feels like this is a fake game. Let's just take a quick look. Looks to be real. Um, time crisis, but it feels like it feels like a fake disc for some reason. It is a fake disc, but nevertheless, um, Grand Theft Auto Three, Metal Gear Solid, not in bad condition. Hopefully these are real games. Um, Rampage. Contender. Fight Force. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Need for Speed 3. Knockout Kings. A... Ten Pin Alley, NHL 94, WCW Nitro, Grand Theft Auto. Oh, that I didn't know I had this, so this is the original. So I will be playing that. Tomb Raider 2, and this seems to be not an authentic game. But it has a black disc, so let me know what these are. But uh, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, it was a very strange week for yard sale hunting for video games. Um, but I did also get 
uh, the pickup of the week. So I'll take a, I'll show you guys that next. Up uh, PSP Vita for 150. Yep. Okay. And uh, the games are here too. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. There's a PSP Vita right there. Uh, turn it on is right here, right? Yeah. All right, is a battery charge. Okay, perfect. And the games are on which compartment? This side. There's this with eight games and then another. All two right, games, so these right? eight games here. Uh, those games there. We'll take a quick recap out of home. Smart as. There's a game Smart as. And Super Monkey Ball. So pretty epic score. I finally got my hands on a PSP Vita. Been looking around forever for this. So the pickup of the week was a PSP Vita. I got two 4 gig memory cards. Um, one here and one on the back. And there's an 8 gig memory card here. And these were the games I ended up getting. Um, so there's Little Big Planet, Injustice, Smart As, Super Monkey Ball, All Star Arena, Sly Cooper, both Batman 2 and Batman 3, Jack and Dexter, and Need for Speed Most Wanted. I did get the PSP Vita uh, once again. Uh, last week's PSP Vita is more in banged up, used up condition, so that's going to be my Vita on the go. This is pretty much mint condition, uh, probably almost a perfect 10. So this will be going into that box that I had from last week. And this is the collection of this week. So it was a very strange week for me. But um, yeah, sometimes in yard sales, you just got to pick whatever you find uh, comes your way. So like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys uh, not next week, but the week after because I'm going to be taking a holiday. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.